is Shauna, and I came all the way from Columbia, South Carolina, because um, I'm in need of a double lung transplant, and the doctors told me that I would have to wait two or three more years, so I decided I wanted to try any alternative ideas that, that were available. <coughs> and a friend of mine, Kathy, told me about Amanda, and um, I believe in God, and I believe in healing, and I believe that He provides us everything we need. And sometimes we just need someone to bring that to us or through us, and so I decided that I have nothing to lose and everything to gain, so I came here. I'm excited. The breathing is the same? The same? It feels different or feels the same, the breathing? It feels a little less labor, but... Um, but it's to turn the oxygen level down to two liters per minute instead of the normal three. I feel like I'm getting more air and it's not as tight and it's flowing smoother in my lungs. And how is your breathing? My breathing is less labored and it feels like there's a, it'll just be like a shuddering kind of feeling and then it's just a calm release. So it feels left a lot less labored. That's good. With my oxygen down to one liter I mean, per minute, I guess it is. Never been on one. They started me on three. So going backwards is a good feeling. <laughs> and after so, that, we have only one step, huh? Yes. I feel like I'm taking in more air and exhaling more air and just breathing more normally. That's good. Awesome. That's good. Yeah, Shauna's voice when I picked her up at the airport was very, very broken because she was trying to grasp for air. And now she says complete sentences and speech is just it's a huge difference since we came in here. Very good. Thank you, Kathy. Let's see the colors in the face. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. <laughs> you know, when we left yesterday, I had it left on one, and then when I went back, I decided I was going to take a shower, and so I moved it back up to two to take a shower, but normally when I was at home, on my continuous running machine, when I would take a shower, I would move it up to four or five as if I was, like if I was exercising, so I wouldn't get winded in the shower, but I took a shower on two, and there's no stool in there like I have at home, oh, yeah. so I stood up the whole time also, and washed my hair, and shaved my legs, and Everything like that, that and I'm just on two. I woke up a couple of times during the night, kind of in the bathroom, so I walked. I didn't want to carry everything with me, and I felt like I could make it, so I just walked to the bathroom without my oxygen, and then I got back in bed and turned it back on, and everything was fine. Whereas normally I'd have my oxygen at home that runs continuously. I'd be winded just walking, not even across the length of this room the bathroom and back. So, you know, when I was at the airport and coming down here, I was concerned and panicky about um, carrying my luggage and bringing my oxygen and all that kind of stuff like that. So it was an anxiety level and a, and a fearful level of me at 100%. But since we've been working together and everything, I think there's probably been at least a 60 or 70% improvement in, in that feeling. And the way I feel now, I feel really good right now. And so I think it's a vast improvement. What do we see now, huh? No oxygen. Oxygen free and happy. <laughs> Last great. time that you felt that good being off the oxygen. Or can you remember that? It's It's been forever. I mean, I've been off of oxygen for two and a half years. So I don't remember being able to walk for an extended period of time or even down the hallway without oxygen. So it feels great. Be yeah, able to, to move and talk and be animated or whatever without any oxygen is, you know, it's been forever ago. Even driving my car, just walking around the house, walking from my bed to the bathroom, always on oxygen. 
So this is this is huge. This is amazing. So it's awesome. you know, not just the burden of the, of the lungs, but the burden of like an illness or a burden of 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 being confined to a certain mindset or a certain idea of what you can't do. Now I feel like it's like nothing is out of the realm of possibilities. You know, I can can go back to dancing again. I can go back to, you know, walking the dogs. I can go back to cleaning the house and vacuuming the floor. And even though they sound like mundane tasks, there's stuff that I haven't been able to do. So just to be able to push the vacuum around the house is going to be, you know, (laughs) just an awesome experience. My God, I couldn't have any oxygen on at all. So I kept telling, I had sent some texts to them and told everybody that since 3 o'clock I haven't worn any oxygen. So, I mean, it was a vast improvement. And then I didn't sleep with it on. I didn't put it on again. I went through normal activities as far as brushing my teeth and, you know, playing with the dog and having supper and watching TV and all those kind of things. And I didn't use it at all. I mean, I didn't feel winded and I didn't feel stressed and like that, so I only I only put it on this morning, maybe about ten or fifteen minutes ago. And it's on what? What is it on? On one. On one. On one, the lowest level. And I only put it on just because it's still a little bit difficult to pick up heavy things and and that kind of, and that kind of stuff. And um, so in the car, I turned it off for just a little bit. But as we were walking in, I told Kathy, I said. Well, I might be getting too much oxygen now. <laughs> and we just tested it on at 93. So, it's, this is fabulous. I couldn't be happier. And I just, I just turned my air off because when, when um, Kathy and Amanda were working on me, I felt as I was breathing and relaxing and everything. I felt like I said, I don't really need this extra oxygen. There's plenty in the regular air for me. And it just, I feel like my breathing is so much just calmer and relaxed and not labored and just, it's, it's just an awesome feeling. It's so different than just, what, three days ago? It's incredible. It's incredible. I'm so grateful. It's, it's just it's awesome. So how long did you have this oxygen on today? Um, less than an hour. Yeah, less than an hour, maybe 45 minutes. But people don't expect miracles anymore. People don't believe that things can change so quickly and so dramatically. And it's just amazing to me that, you know, just three days ago, I wouldn't have even considered sitting here without any oxygen. It wouldn't even been a thought to cross my mind. And I can just go back to being normal and free and but I mean just the breathing is just so calm and relaxed and natural and it's not a conscious thought anymore. It's not something I have to focus on, it just happens. It's so cool. I do all the stuff. <laughs> Years. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yay! How you doing? <laughs> How you feeling? I feel good. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. Oh my. <laughs> I feel awesome. That's awesome. That's great. I haven't been able to do that in how long. <laughs> Thank you so much. Are you breathing up to those jacks? <laughs> you are fine. Yeah. Those yeah. jumping jacks. Oh my gosh. Look at the tiles of your face. They look gorgeous. That's good. Thank you, man. God bless you. Thank you. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> I just wanted to say that the healing was done with the help of this magnificent lady, Kathy. And we are just. We are just in tears to see uh, Shauna with Noah. Grateful you came. Thank you. It's just wonderful to see you like this. I love you both.